Cowboy Special here. We just shot our AR-15 pistol and now we're going to show you uh, what we use to clean it and how to clean it and how to break it down. That We've been asked that a lot. So the first thing is let's show you how to break it down, how to clean it, and what we use now currently and what we've used in the past. Coming right up. Alright, when we first started we were using this Safari Land Break Free CLP and we've had a lot of success with this. I really don't have anything negative to say about it. And on the full sized AR-15s to the small pistol size, as long as you keep your AR just a little bit moist and sometimes even wet, I mean you won't have any problem out of it. It's a great cleaner. Uh, it, it works very well. We've never had any problem out of it. We really haven't. So the only thing is, is it, it is uh, petroleum based. Next we tried the frog lube and we do have videos of the frog lube here. And we liked the frog lube. It worked very well. It is non-petroleum based so it is eco friendly or environmentally friendly. So if you want to go green, go frog lube. Now the only thing about frog lube that we found negative is that it really does not like cold weather. In the cold weather, and I'm talking about cold, cold weather, you get a little bit of that uh, gumminess and things start sticking to it like dirt and whatnot. Now we're up to Modern Spartan. That's what we currently use. Head Down Products uh, turned us on to this and that is what we currently use. We love it. We have proved it, and what they say and what they claim is true. So if you go to modernspartansystem.com, you'll see everything, the videos they have of it and everything. So this is what we currently use. If you go to Modern Spartan, they do have three, or actually four products to choose from. This is the Accuracy Oil, and this is what we use in the barrel and all the actions and the bolt and everything after we've done cleaning it. And you say, after you've done cleaning it, yes. They do have two other products here. One is the Carbon Destroyer on this black. And the other is Copper and Lead Destroyer in the nice copper color. These are great for revolvers and guns that get really, really dirty. So if you've got dirty ammo, you probably want to use one or both of these to really get that dirty gunk stuff out. Then once you get it clean, we'll go to the accuracy oil. Now, 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 what do you have in front of you right now? This looks like a dirty gun. <laughs> yes, it does. <laughs> it's an AR-15 pistol, right? So we're going to do the carbon destroyer. We're going to use the carbon destroyer to clean it, and then we'll go to the accuracy oil to lube it, lube it and make it slicker than goose snot. All right, let's break it down. There's a pin right here. Take a little punch punch the pin out and then all this will come out like such and once you have it to this point there is another pin right here and you punch it out and turn it up on its end here and you punch it out and it will remove this whole top part and that pin just comes out and it slides off like that. So we'll put that down here for just a second and I'm going to show you exactly what we did. What we did first of all was this pin here that you see sticking out and we just punched it from this side and it slides out. Then we punched this one right here and it slides out. Alright next we're going to take the bolt out remove the charging handle and the bolt which are right here. And to do that all you do is pull your charging handle out like this, holding on to it. I'm holding on to it so it doesn't drop to the floor. And your bolt just slides right on out. We're going to set it right here. Your charging handle pulled down just a little bit and comes right out. And you will notice that, yes, my charging handle does have a nice little Head Down Products logo on it. All right, here's your bolt assembly. Next thing you do is you want to take the cotter pin out, which is located right here. Some people have these little tools that have a hook and you put it in that little loop in the cotter pin, hook it and pull it out. I've just got needle nose pliers and I just take it and pinch it and pull the cotter pin out. 
and yes, it is tight. And there we pull the cotter pin out and set it down. Now's when you start counting to three, right? <laughs> That's right, throw. All right, now that you have the cotter pin out, first you take the, the firing pin. My bad. Take the firing pin out. Now this will pull out nice and easy. Position it sideways so you can pull it out. And there it is. All right. Now all of this assembly here will come right out. Now I want to show you, we put five rounds, six rounds through it. Mm -hmm. Last video we did six rounds? Yeah. Right All out. right. I want to show you how dirty this will get with only six rounds. Now these were Silver Bear, Russian, Silver Bear, steel cased ammo. Yes, it is. So what we're going to do, we're going to get our nice cleaning patches here. Nice bright white, brand spanking new, never been used. And I'm going to show you, here's the firing pin, and you can already yeah, see. you can. And all I'm going to do is just pull it, and that's from five rounds. Yeah. And here's that assembly. I'm going to do it right here, and all I'm doing is just twisting it. Wow. Now twist it right here, and you can even see on my fingers how dirty my finger, my index finger here is. So that's just from, like we said, six rounds. What you want to do first and most important of all, I don't know if you'll be able to see this, but I'm going to point it out with the cotter pin here. On this assembly here, on this ring right here, you'll see little holes or grooves or indentations. There's one right here. I don't know if you can see that. It's pretty small, but I think it's on there. And then here's the second one. And turning it, there should be three. One, two, three. Make sure they're not all lined up in a row. Make sure they're away from each other. Very important. Very important tool to an AR are pipe cleaners. Go to any pipe store, you'll find these pipe cleaners, and we'll show you why in just a second. Alright, here's where the pipe cleaners come in very handy. The pipe cleaners are for these very small orifices right here in your bolt assembly. This tube right here, and it'll go down in where the, for the gases. And also, more importantly, inside here, this is going to be very hard to see. I'm trying to angle the light toward it. You'll see a little gap right here. And hold on just a second. I've got an idea. There's a gas tube right there, and that's what we're going to stick the pipe cleaner in just a second like this to clean it. Let's see. And you'll just run it up in there and just like you would do your barrel. You would run it up and down a couple of times till the pipe cleaner comes out pretty much clean. Don't over lube your, uh, your gas tube. No. It's very important. It'll start no. building up gunk in that gas tube very, very quickly if you've got too much lube in there. And we're really not lubing it, we're just cleaning it. Exactly. Cleaning out all the, yeah. the gunk. And we'll use the carbon destroyer to do that with. Excellent. Make things a little bit easier. We're going to take a boar snake, 22 caliber. And we're going to use the bore snake to clean the barrel with. And before we do anything, we're going to take the cloth part right here and put a little bit of that carbon destroyer on it and let it kind of soak in to this material so that when we run it through the barrel, it's cleaning it with the carbon destroyer. All right, once we've ran that bore snake through the barrel, 
and with the carbon destroyer and got it all the carbon cleaned out now it's time for the accuracy oil and how we do that is we'll take our heat gun and we will heat up the barrel just a little bit and then run either the bore snake or we will run a clean patch with our cleaning rod through it run it down about five or six times let it cool down heat it up again and that's it last bit of instructions before we reassemble it all make sure your rails your inner springs here are lubed they're cleaned and lubed make sure your springs and everything especially your buffer tube spring in here make sure it's cleaned and lubed make sure your magwell is cleaned and lubed then you want to make double double sure that before you put your upper back on that your rails yes I know why we left the pipe cleaner in there make sure your rails are lubed and the way I do that is the same way with the barrel I take the <coughs> modern Spartan I heat the gun up heat the rails first put the modern Spartan on let it cool down then heat it up once again so it'll take and that's it and then reassemble it question is some a lot of people say well how many rounds do you fire before you really have to clean it good and uh, some people are more anal about it than others and I just like to clean it after every shooting whether it's one round five rounds a hundred rounds a thousand rounds whatever rounds it is but an AR usually you know a couple hundred rounds and it's ready for and it all depends on the ammo you're shooting as well if you're shooting really crappy gunky ammo then maybe a hundred rounds probably at the most uh, but if it's good quality ammo then uh, maybe more rounds but I just like to clean it after every time I shoot it so I know that it's clean after every shoot but that's up to you and it's up to the ammo so however you want to protect yours this is how I'm protecting mine you saw it here on the Po'boy Special Channel